So the process is each element mixed together using a mixer, and then the final mix will place into a, a mold, pressure, temperature, and time to form a brick pad. We have a list of equipment in this friction lab that allow us to make prototype samples. The prototyping and testing are important for research and development of formulation. Formulations are complicated. A formulation may consist more than 10 elements, and each element play a role in the performance. For example, noise, wear, and stopping power. The raw material being used in the formulation can be grouped into four groups. The first one is binder, that bind the whole everything together. The second one is fiber, it gives you the reinforcement. Then we have a friction modifier that can be abrasive or can be rubricants. The last group of element is the filler. In general, there are two types of friction material. The first one is ceramic, and the second group is metallic. The key feature of our ceramic pad is no noise, low wear, and good stopping power. On the other hand, the metallic pad will have a higher stopping power, but however, metallic pad tends to have a higher wear rate. We also formulation for specific application. For example, we have an extended wear. The formulation have good wear resistance. If an application requires stopping power, we have to flay formulation. Also, we have a formulation specific design for police vehicle. It is a well-balanced formulation. It has no noise, no wear, no dust, and it has a very high fade resistance.